it's Tom Kern from Bravo AV. Thank you for watching another episode of Bravo AV TV. And we're gonna talk about home theater acoustics now. And as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the secret weapons of Bravo AV home theater design. If you do not pay attention to acoustics, you are throwing your money away. It is critical that you have proper acoustic treatment in your room. So when we look at acoustic treatments and we say, what are our goals? Well, our primary goal is to make it sound great in the room. Our secondary goal is to try to minimize sound leakage out of the room. When we look at acoustic design at the highest level, there's four things that we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at controlling the sound in the room. We're gonna look at reducing outside sound leaking into our room. We're going to try to isolate mechanical sounds that are surrounding the theater from getting into the room. And then we're gonna to try to contain sound that we generate inside the theater from leaking out into adjacent spaces. When we look specifically at controlling the sound in the room, the Home Acoustics Alliance, of which we're members, has five criteria. Clarity, okay, this talks to dialogue intelligibility and the ability to hear quiet passages. Then we have focus, that's our ability to, in a 3D space, localize where a sound is coming from. Third is envelopment. We want to be surrounded by that sound presentation. Fourth is dynamics. And dynamics is critical to the emotional content of that soundtrack. Dynamic range refers to the difference between the softest sound and the loudest sound. And the greater that is, the more emotional hook you will have into the soundtrack. And the way we do that is starting off with a really quiet room. And then number five, the last one is response. We want to have an equal frequency response or an even frequency response throughout the room. What happens when we don't? We get muddy bass. We get terrible treble. We get distortion. We can't really make out what's going on. We need an even response frequency. We get all five of those and we've got a great sounding theater. When we're working on our acoustic design, we start with the size of the room, we optimize the chair location, then behind fabric, we put either absorptive, diffusive, or reflective products to make that room sound great. When all that's done and all the gear is in, then we do our final acoustical tune using the AV processor. Thank you so much for watching. Tom Kernan from Bravo AV saying, I know that was a lot of information, but just come into our theater and listen and it'll become crystal clear to you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.